We found a non-explored ship that we have not seen before. We might be upside down, but I have no clue. So we're gonna stick with this. I don't. I actually think we are upside down. Hey, howdy, army hearties, and welcome to an AP. We found this powered down ship out of, out of nowhere using the radar mark block from last time if you're confused as to why we are here and how we got here then go watch the last episode which should be 28 yeah probably so now that you have watched that or didn't care let's get to it we're going to explore this place we can turn off our radar I think the stuff should disappear anyway yes they did so let's fly in let's fly inside and park. Hello? Is anybody home? There's no gravity. Let's... Sorry. I'll, I'll fix this for you. Didn't mean to break your entry. <laughs> oh, that's so much fun. Do I have uh, nothing zoned, is it? Nothing zoned. Okay, everything is basically free. Uh, so this is... Uh, Okay, let's let's do this. Uh, everything belongs to me now. Okay. Uh, starter ship. This looks like a what? The what? Look at all this uranium. What is this? Oh, reactors. Launch all the reactors. Wait. Sen sensors. Nope. War. They are called warheads, right? War. Warheads. Um, war. Nope. Timer. Nope. No, no booby traps. Nothing. This is just a free ship. It's just a free ship. Okay. Uh, reactors. Uh, all of them on. And we have gravity and lighting. Okay, so this is basically just a free ship. That's nice. Um, so let's uh, let's walk around it. Do we? I don't think we're gonna go up first. We'll go straight forward. And uh, see what two doors leading to the medical bay and a cargo that's empty. Uh, wow, that's also even more free stuff and. That's all the free stuff for today. So free... <sighs> so much uranium. Uh, I might just leave this here. Uh, because it's too free. If I had to at least hack stuff to get it, then... But this is just so free. And so much power as well. Um... And this, pla this place is now mine. There we go. Um, it has a lot of thrusters. I might steal some of the thrusters. Um, yeah, I might bring it around for uh, deconstruction. Um, uh, ah, yeah, sure, I'll bring it. Look at this, I'm turning like a champ, and the ship is completely stationary. Ah, uh, let's go. Let's go. And I didn't need my waypoint, because the radar gives away our position like madness. So, GPS, you die. And there we go. We can open all doors, and turn on and off reactors, and stuff like that. Very interesting. So big, big, big free ship. Uh, very, very disappointing. Uh, actually, uh, I should have. So the best way to start, uh, I guess, the, in this game is to uh, build. Uh, do use this mod and uh, just build a small ship, as small as you can. Uh, just go and grab a random ship, and you're basically done. You won, 
I don't know how you win in this game, but might be very might not be very satisfactory, and that, I guess that breaks the entire point of winning. Uh, so yeah, oh, it's actually quite a bit smaller than our ship, or at least lighter. I guess this is kind of hollow. I wonder what's in the entire front. Yeah, let's, uh, whoops, get back off. There should be a way to get into the front. Ouch. Luckily, I have myself a medical bay in here. Is there a way to get there? Whoops, still slowing down. There we go. Okay, that's enough. Uh, if not, we will just... It doesn't look like it, so... We'll just... Go towards the front. Uh, inertial dampeners, I'd love to have you. That's cargo. That's small reactor. So this is a 3x3, three three basically. Empty thing. No, it should be bigger. There should be something in here. Is there at least something hidden for me to find? If it, no, that's thruster. What if we do it over here? Maybe here there's something interesting. No, it's filled with armor. Okay. So now we just go back inside. Uh, screw, screw this. I'm walking through doors. Doors are for sissies. And let's get home. Hmm, maybe we'll um, steal some of the thrusters, the large thrusters, and uh, then uh, just smash this into an asteroid. I've always wanted to do that in survival. It's much cooler in survival than doing it in creative. It's cool in creative, but doing it in survival when you're actually wasting like all that stuff, that would be awesome. You know what, guys? Asteroid, asteroid, we're gonna do it right now. Screw you, resource management. Hold your horses, Grease Lightning is still in here. Not in your life that I'm doing that. Well, <laughs> Grease Lightning is here. <laughs> oh, I was so close. <laughs> so close. Ah, almost. You almost got that. Ah, that was so, I was almost... I was so close. I was 100% in. And then I saw Grease Lightning. And I was like, no. Not in your life that I'm risking him. Not my favorite ship. Uh, Bertha is far away, she won't hear us, so I can say that. Grease Lightning is definitely one of my favorite ships that I've made ever. I th yeah, I think. It would, it, Scrab it was cool. Scrab it was really cool. Overlord is, of course, Overlord, but I mean, like a small ship. Uh, I think Overlord is actually the only, like, capital ship that I made. Does it count like a capital ship? Is it big enough? Does that actually, the size actually matter there? It is a capital ship. It's, it's the size doesn't really matter, right? That's it's true in all ways of life, but I don't think it's the size that uh, determines if it's a capital ship or not. I think it's the purpose of the ship. Is the is that correct? I might be wrong there. If so, then uh, yeah. I'm then then I'm wrong. I just well wanna wanna 
go back. Uh, let's do this. Yeah, let's park it the other way around. This is so much more maneuverable than... Overlord, the mightiest chip of all. Can we get higher? I want something like this in the back. Like something much larger. I really want to fly upwards. Is that possible? Do I have to do... Do you even have thrusters? You have like four small thrusters. About as maneuverable as Overlord in that perspective. But I guess capital ships aren't supposed to be very maneuverable. That's the point of the small ships. Okay, that's pretty cool. Let's compare. I think this is a little bit longer. What? How can it be longer than my overlord? <laughs> my overlord is being bested in length. Ah, but we have width. That's that's the most important part, isn't it? <laughs> oh, maturity. Oh, how I wish that you never come. Ah, <laughs> oh, there we go. Let's go. Let's go. No! I just remembered <laughs> that I, t I th it's, the ship isn't yours proofed. I have yours proofed my ship by making the gravity not more than 0.4 G's. Because that means that you don't take fall damage and that is yours proofing. Uh, but speaking of the, the dock it had, uh, I actually want one of these. How are you? You're upside down. Or are you upside down? I think you're upside down. Let's fix that. But I want one of these. Uh, non Unpressurized, always open dock. Or something that's just a little bit faster to open. So I can have like my exploration ships. Like uh, Grease Lightning. I can just quickly say, Oh, I wanna go. And go. And I might actually place that uh, closer. So I might put that between the two slots that we have right now are two parts there we go now everything is fine here we go let's actually move you closer because we can yeah look at the front of overlord it's so overpowering i think that we've built this in survival i mean it's been like ages but still it's pretty cool at least i think so i think it's pretty cool just just because it's uh, built in survival anyway what uh what are we doing i actually don't know we're spinning around like crazy but that's just a re reflection of our personality i guess I'm saying our. It's like, <laughs> like you're in on this. <laughs> but you are. You're definitely in on it. Anyway, I'm gonna park this guy and figure out what we're doing and why. And I'll be right back. Okay? Okay. So yeah. His gravity is getting in my way. I don't like that. Does he have an antenna? Yes, you do. Gravity? Keep to your own place, please. And for God's sake, yours proofs yourself. Thank you. So yeah, what we were doing? We're like 14, 15 minutes into this episode. And uh, we have captured a ship. And um, yes. There we go. I'm going to steal. Do I want to do that now though? Do I want to steal the thrusters now? Because I don't have anywhere to build it, really. Actually, scrap everything I just said. I found something. Hold it. Huge, unknown, object, huge. Okay. We're going there. We're, we're, we're going there. I don't care what it is, but we're going there. 
Do I have air? I don't have air. This is the exploration episode. We're going to explore. That's that's the only purpose we have for today. And I'm going in person. Am I really? I'm a little bit against the flying in person and we don't have the antenna if we fly in person, so we're not going to do that. So let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go near Poston. It's a song. If you if you didn't understand that, then I have no idea how you have been watching this series or my videos without the knowledge of what music is. Because that's like the one thing I always, I always do. I think. Like, can you say that you do music? I do, yeah, I do music. No, I don't do that. I play video games and sing. A lot. <laughs> a lot. A little bit. All the time. Mostly always. Mostly always. Open the doors! Open the door! Turn on the radar! Huge unknown object! I'll go there! At full speed! Very quickly! But it will take some time, so I shall see you then! In a second! There seems to be multiple things there at the very same spot. Because now there's a moderate unknown and there's something behind it that I can't read. Because they overlap. Would be nice if they could just move the thing up so that you can read all the texts. That would be awesome. Or put it like, if there's two above each other, you put one above and one below. Now there's another unknown object. Should be something small. And uh, we have a business shipment. Man, that's not terribly dangerous. I don't think it's... Huh? Things are green? That means they're friendly. Right? And tiny ship? What's this? It's a station? Hello? What? Wow! It's pretty cool! Doesn't appear to be... Enemies? So? Let's fly inside. Look at this! It's like it's like a space station. With a ship docked and merged? Yeah. Better not be heading to that place, mana. Let's go inside. This place might be trapped. I have a bad feeling about this. It has gravity already. Huh. Gehenna Cargo. Gehenna... Is it... What's it, its name? It's actually a station. Uh, it's just called Platform. I guess, I'm guessing it's called Gehenna Station. Gehenna Station? Uh, Sense... No sensors. Timer. War. I'm guessing it's safe. Uh, let's see here. Everything is owned by nobody. It's now owned by me. I just stole. And everything turned off. Um, Ria. No. Solar. No. Battery. Why did it make... Why did making it own by me turn everything off? 
Are you no, no longer merged? You have a severe lack of power. Why is the power of the solar panel not showing up in here? Uh, so everything owned by nobody. Do that. Okay, so that didn't fix it. Oh yeah, no power. So everything owned by me. There we go. Let's see if we can access this somehow. Is this another part? Rotor. It's attached and everything is owned by me. Did the merge blocks on merge? Uh, merge. So I own some parts, but not others. Okay, so if I do go here, everything is still owned by me. Merge. I mean, these should be, these are stations, right? Okay, so that updated it. Okay, so maybe I just need to update. Yeah, let's go around and do that. There we go. That's nice. Here we go. There we go. Stuff is turning on, working nicely. So if you happen upon this place, then don't make it yours. Don't steal it. This is there's theft prote protection. Uh. It looks like it's completely modular as well. It's a pretty cool build. Too bad that broke it. <laughs> Otherwise, it would have been awesome. Maybe it's not the build's fault. Maybe it's it's all Keen's fault. There we go. Everything should be connected again. And you're no longer connected. So let's make sure you're parked. And see here if everything is still owned by me. It is perfect. And this battery can go back to recharge. And let's look through everything. Have we anything interesting? Bunch of stuff. See, this isn't as... Even though it looks crazier, it's not like maddening amounts of stuff. I think if you combine it all together, it's a bit of stuff. But yeah, it's not like... Two tons of uranium, which would be enough to supply us for years. Uh, so this is actually quite an awesome build. This is... I'm... I like this place. I do like this place. <gasps> Wait... Oxygen... Hello, my turret! Ooh, I wanna... <laughs> I don't know where to go! I don't know, I don't want... I don't know... I don't know where I wanna go. Oh, here's a flight seat. That's interesting. Oh, that's... I do want to know if there are vents. No, there's no oxygen. This was probably built before oxygen. So we are now inside the ship, I think? Yeah, this this place has a gyroscope. Yeah, we're inside the ship. Uh, the blue part, if you didn't recall where it was. Walk through, there's some beds. Some medical stations. Some windows, a basement, where we find... Uh, 
Absolutely nothing except cargo. Okay. Let's run back. It's much faster to get pack. And more dangerous. Obviously. So let's head straight through to the first module, which is under construction. I think this is a landing platform. Oh, there's the ship that we were just in. And then we take a right. We are parked over there. Trying to remember where I am. Going through, there are the solar panels. The windows, there's a lot of windows and you're really sure where you are most of the time. It's a really well built place. Completely impractical though. Which I mean, you can either be cool or practical. I usually choose this second one. Because I'm normally very cool. And it's like to switch things up sometimes. I have no idea what I'm talking about. Uh, but let's move up. I didn't know. Oh, it's the, it's the flight place. Flight control. <gasps> Look at it. That's cool. That's really cool. I like this place. Have we been to the... That place? No, I don't think so. Let's go down. Let's go there. Look, I didn't die because I looked at the gravity and knew that I would. Uh, I f this place feels familiar. I am going the wrong way. I was just praising the builder for making it easy to find your way and, I l I, and then I find myself lost. And I've already been here, haven't I? Yeah, this is the solar panel place. Now I am lost. Okay, this is where we came from. Let's go up. Nope. Is that actually where we came from? No. So go here and if we... Look in front of us, we have that. So this is... Ah, damn it. I've got... This should be a new place. That's nothing. And then we turn right. And we should be in a new place. That should look familiar. Yes, it does. And then we get to the turret. Yes, but this should be a new place. This is a new place. Yes, because our ship is not here. It's on the other side of the station. Hopefully we find a medical station soon. Oh, speaking of medical stations. Ah, nice. It's a nice uh, medical facility you have here. Uh, whoever used to own it. I mean, I have here. I have a really nice medical facility here. Yes, with raw materials. And uh, stuff. It's a very beautiful place. It's a very uh, meditational. You can uh, sit around, look at space, and realize how small you are. And that's so massive place over there. Just a little dot. And it's like... So huge. Anyway, let's keep going. I think this episode is ridiculously long by this point. It turned out to be a base showcase for someone who I have no idea who it is. Nothing here. And uh, yeah, this should be the, the end over here. Beds. And at the very end, turn on the lights. It's been dark in here. And at the very end, we have nothing. Ah, pretty nice uh, deck as well. Trading uh, trading post, maybe? Or trading place? Where you go and sell your uh, stuff to people. I don't know. Here we have uh, two possibly toilets. I have no idea. And that's that. There we go. And uh, I uh, think I know where... The uh, the red ship, the, uh, the starter ship, is going to end up. I think I'm fairly sure where it's going to end up. I think I actually need to make a, a waypoint here. Uh, Gehenna Station. Oh, I need to create one first. 
Gehen. Na, station. I think that's how he spelt it, or she. Gehenna, yeah. Gehenna station. There we go. I hope you enjoyed this video, even if it turned out a little bit long, but it's uh, nice to do some exploration. This was actually pretty nice to find a new place and uh, look around, and uh, then finally find our own ship again and head back home. Uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this uh, video. If you did, feel free to leave a like. If you did not, feel free to leave a dislike, and I shall see you... Uh, the next time.